States Marine Corps. Sam Alvey, 34. Julian Marquez is 30. Both fighters, six foot two inches tall. Both fighters coming in at that middleweight limit of 186 pounds. Three and a half inch reach advantage resides with the Milwaukee native Sam Alvey. All right, now for the particulars back inside of Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding professional record. Eight wins, two losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, Julian the Cuban Missile Crisis. Marquez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 33 wins, 14 losses, one draw, one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds, fighting out of Temecula, California, smiling, Sam and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Smith. Mark Smith, our referee, Sam Alvey said this week he's excited to be the bigger man in this equation. He said, my back heel's probably going to be up against the fence still, ladies and gentlemen, but he wants to fire hard from that position. Seems like the focus for Alvey is on Julian, offense. Ready? To Dominic's Sam, point ready? earlier, more round. output, Fight's more on. aggression. <laughs> We'll see if it happens. This fight clock is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Julian Marquez in red. Smiling Sam Alvey in those beautiful new blue Venom fight trunks. Cross fingers, Julian. And do the fighters just choose what color shorts they wear now? Is that how it works, John? You know? Unless you got that black and gold befitting I mean, a champion. Befitting you know. a champion. That's, I love that. I love that, John. The black and gold befitting a champion. Close to 50 fights. Sam Alvey's gotten about 14 of those knockouts in the first round. So you can't be can reckless, do, though, against Alvin. You cannot be reckless. He'll almost lull you into thinking you can. That's what's interesting. He waits and waits and waits until you just run into a fist. It's a straight left hand. It's not fast, but it's so powerful. You get frustrated standing in front of him, taking pictures, what they call it, and you decide you want to do something, and that's when you run into something from Sam Alvey. <laughs> UFC veteran Joe Daddy Stevenson back in the Sam Alvey corner tonight, but as you guys know, it's his wife, Brittany, who is his chief corner, and she has a tremendous MMA IQ. No, really, man. I, I remember watching her corner on Fight Island, and I was like, wow, you know, she really does know, and she can really guide Sam, because obviously she has his ear, right? If yeah. anybody has yeah. your ear, it's your wife. Body shot there from Julian Marquez who has an outstanding head coach, as many of you know, and James Krause. And James is so committed to his athletes, man. He spends months here whenever we're do we were doing fights back-to-back -back at the Apex. I always think, what's the benefit to having your back foot on that fence? You Why see Tyrone do Woodley do it. You see Sal Malvey do it. Certain fighters do it. The only thing I can think of is it creates a line where they know they can trade with you because... The, the fighter coming at you can't go any further to push you back, and you can't go back any further. So it creates a line in the sand where you can just trade. And Sam Alvey is very confident that if he gets into that firefight, he's going to land harder and first, I think. But, I mean, when you do that, though, right, you limit your escape routes, and you allow Marquez to kind of have all that space to operate out in front of you. And, and the other side is you, you have a, a defense for the takedowns. So I agree with you, but that's why I wonder, DC. Man, yeah, Alvey I know. is loading up. And that, yeah, he's loading up, and that's why he's missing, right? If he takes his time and throws something straight. He didn't loaded. miss with that left hand. Yeah, he barely, barely missed with that right hook. If he lands that right hook, it might be over. Watch fingers, Julian. Julian Marquez got off to a slow start against Maki Patolo. Not so tonight. Very efficient on the feet here early. And you would think that's from being more active, right? It was a long time between fights when he fought Maki to now being a couple months removed from the last fight. It's familiar again for Julian Marquez. Oh, left hand he left heavy. Oh, Sam he got him bad. Ooh, Alvey just absorbed a few shots there. I think he woke him back up. <laughs> oh my he hit him to his knees and then woke him back up. Yeah. 
Oh my. Get the gambler's perspective by checking out UFC on the line on Fight Pass next episode live, 7 p.m. Eastern this Thursday to get you primed for Whitaker versus Gastelum coming up April 17th. Oh my goodness, Marquez is teeing off on Sam Alvey right now. He just looks a little sharper with his accuracy is what I'd say. He's, he's being more accurate than Sam. Sam's kind of ducking his head and swinging when he throws and we can see Marquez picking his shots. I like that left high kick from Alvi. I think that can help shut down that right hand of Marquez. He's got to throw more. Oh, these dudes are. I'm telling you. Oh, I mean, Alvi's going knockout hunting tonight. There's no doubt about it. But Marquez has been the more efficient striker by a pretty significant margin here early. And Marquez is landing so clean. He hurt Alvi. He just cannot walk into anything. Alvi waiting for that counter shot, as is often the case. Instead, leads with a right hand and lands. Yep, that right hook landed beautifully for Alvi. And now and the a left hand. Yep. Yeah. Three, two, three from Alvi there. Oh, he's hurt. Marquez is hurt a little bit. Oh, there's another shot. Yeah. Oh! Goodness. Right behind you, Sam. Over here, Sam. Right there. Who's got the stool? There you go. You're doing great, Sam. Make sure you're following up that hey, Sam. hook with the cross, all right? Sam, he cannot fight back with you. He cannot fight back with you. Okay? I'm sure he's just stumbling he's back. Set it up, okay? okay? Big breath for me. You're not that enough. You just got to set it up with your lead hand, okay? okay. If, you pull his, if you pull his punches out first, just get back, just get back to feigning and lead hand popping. Everything else fell into place with that, okay? You look, okay. You look, you look good, man. That's a close round. I don't know who got that. Let's, 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 let's pick it up a little bit. I want his back on the fence all the time. I think we got that one, okay. but I don't know. Okay, let's just call it 50-50. But get behind the lead hand, okay? Big okay. breath, one more. You look good, bud. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, back live. The recovery has been done to whatever extent. Sam Alvey and Julian Marquez, round two of a possible three here at 185 pounds. James right, Krause guys, wants forward on. motion. He wants feints. He wants Marquez working off of that jab and keeping Sam Alvey's heel up against the fence. And the Alvey corner just wants more volume following up his hooks with crosses. Your favorite DC, you see those fakes? Oh yeah, they throw those fakes. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, they're calling for him. You got to faint, get him reacting, and let your offense go. Oh. Oh. That right hook has been landing all night for Alvi. He's sneaking it right over the top in the lead hand of Marquez. Well, Marquez has his, his right hand, is constant, his left hand is constantly working. So if Alvi can time it when it's going back to the chin, he can drop that right hand as he's been doing so many times. I'm telling you first, Sal Paz, they lead with that, that right hand. They, they control the dance with him. That's what Sal, Sam Alvey's doing here. And the, the right hand of Marquez all night. That short right of Alvey has caught Julian Marquez on the way in a couple times. It's like a short hook in there, John. When, when, when Marquez is trying to enter, Alvey just drops that little short right hook on Julian. We mentioned 50 pro fights for Alvi. Professional fight number 11 for Julian Marquez. Alvi has seen a fourth or fifth round six times in his career. How crazy is it that Sam Alvi will land something nice and then go back to being against the fence? But he's hurt now. He is. Oh, he's hurt bad. He landed heavy there. Oh, big left drops Alvi. 
Oh, Alv, he's still going. He's trying to think. Majors, he's still going still right now. Major oh, hammer good. fist. I'm not sure oh, Alvi's really defended much here. He's just yeah, kind he of going on instinct now. Alvi's going on instinct. Marquez got the choke. Oh, he got the choke in. Alvi's oh, that's so tight. Oh, man. Looks like he's, he's oh, out. Yeah, he doesn't tap. He goes oh. to sleep. The Cuban oh. Missile Crisis. Wow. Julian Marquez submits Sam Alvi. Julian Marquez. Two finishes since he's been back, and that one was insane. Hurt Alvi with a nice little right hand. Got him hurt. Alvi was trying to recover by wrestling. Locked in that rear bulldog choke, schoolyard choke, looked like they said, and got the finish. Well, the difference there was it was more like uh, it's close to a bulldog choke, except you beat the shoulder on that. This one was a rear naked without yeah, like the a hooks, like we saw earlier, where he landed the choke without the hooks. Let's see the replay here. It is time for Impact Performer, brought to you by the U.S. Army. Right here, we see Marquez fakes, and that gets Alvi mm. to pull out, and then he leads with the right. They both lead with their lead with their power hand, and Marquez lands first. That wobbles him, and then he starts for the finish here. Goes to the body, and then a three-piecer lands here. One, two. Mm. Man. I mean, he lands at least three shots in a mixture there and just gets going on those punches from the, from the grappling transitions. He beat the right shoulder. Right here, he beats yep. the shoulder but throws the choke in, misses the hooks, and Alvi, I mean, look at, he's not he even thinking. He was going to tap. Nah, he's look on his, the It hands. looked like he wanted to he tap. He was on but, the hands. Oh, okay. he just this doesn't. guy is not he even didn't thinking tap. about tapping. Look at that. I mean, he's just like, let me just grab the hands for a second. Okay, too late. Finishes the fight right now. Well, what else can you say about Julian Marquez? One man's agony, another man's thrill. We'll talk to him after this on ABC. UFC Fight Night is presented by Modelo. All right, the official decision is brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Here now is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, seven seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Julian, the Cuban Missile Crisis! Marquez!